through all the invitations. I think I, I lose the time, but the Sergeant Major gave me to speak, so if you don't mind. Uh, great day to be a soldier. Great day to be here at Red Star. Thank you all for attending. This is a big deal. This is really a big deal. Command Sergeant Major, Major Yates, the man the legend. <laughs> he really is. And Command Sergeant Major Todd Gladwell, who I've known since he was a battalion Command Sergeant Major in the 101st. Uh, when I had the DISCOM, he had the 8th of the 101, and we, we did OAF-1 together and OIF-1 together. And uh, I got to tell you, he's the right man at the right time. If you think of his history of what he's done, he spent a lot of time in that higher member division, 101st. <laughs> 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 He then fleeted up to be Tony Crutchfield's battle buddy at Rucker, in charge of the student load and training for all of Fort Rucker and the requirements for determination. And now he's coming up to Aviation and Missile Command. What a great lineage, what a great person to fill that role. And also his much better half, Tony, who is coming with him, who is a, a great person in her own right, a GBIBS expert. <laughs> oh, by the way, which doesn't hurt any right now. Uh, but, you know, Todd and Tony are the right team for right now. And so I just want to welcome you, Sergeant Major, welcome you to the Team Redstone family, which includes more than Redstone Arsenal, but it really includes the whole community that we have here. Uh, you will find that they bring you in and you are part of the family. And uh, we just want to welcome you and thank you for everything that you've done in the past and what you're going to do here at Redstone. So thank you. But i got to talk a little bit about Command Sergeant Major Ricky Yates, Rooster. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'd tell him that? You know, if you look at his career, let me go over it. Um, the 82nd? Oh, I'm done. And he's done that extremely well. 
because he's led more than AMCOM. He's read the whole Redstone Center. He's led that not only on this post, but also in the community because he is an integral part of our community. And the good part is he's going to stay an integral part of our community because he's going to be right here with us after he retires. You know, Main Sergeant Major Yates, I will admit, I mean, when I first met him, and my first counseling with him, and it was him to me, I got counseled, uh, was, this is what you're going to do there, General. And, uh, and, and I said, yes, sir. I was at parade rest, like I should have been. <laughs> <laughs> I was a PFC once, I understand. <laughs> but, you know, everything that he does is for the soldier or for the civilian. Everything. To the extent that even two days ago he was supposed to be clearing and he came in about noon and he said, Hey, sir, sorry, I've been working with this soldier to get this thing done since 9 o'clock this morning and I hope to clear this afternoon. To the, just, just at 9 o'clock this morning, he had put through a process for a, a St. Michael and he wanted to recognize that individual. And so he asked us all to come up because that's, that's the kind of person he is. It's not about him. It's about the soldiers and civilians and contractors that work to get the job done to support our warfighters. And, and there's, there's no black and white. You are either doing it right, the Sergeant Major way, or you aren't. <laughs> That was my first counsel. You were either going to, you know, totally there, General. But, you know, it is, it, is, uh, it is a great loss to our Army. You know, the rule is 35 years, and, and it's time to go. Understand the rule. Don't like the rule, but understand the rule. Command Sergeant Major Yates not only has been the epitome of a non-commissioned officer, but he has shown that, you know, maybe that rule needs to be changed a little. Because he's still rated a soldier. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to get counseled after this discussion. <laughs> That's the way he is. He's not going to change. He takes care of everyone. And over the last, you know, three or four years, since he started dating Teresa, his, his wife, I tell you what, he's mellowed out a little bit, everyone says. <laughs> that surprises me, all right? Because he hasn't been mellow one bit, but compared to before, I guess this is mellow. <laughs> and thank you, Teresa. For this. Thank you. <laughs> well, no, I just, uh, we just need to recognize that there are individuals in our service that care more about the service members than themselves. And Command Sergeant Major Ricky Yates does that and has done that for 35 years. That's why he's been a command sergeant major for so long. That was not a mistake. He has taken care of soldiers at the highest level for the longest time because he is the right person to do that job. And I just want all of you to recognize that although he is retiring out of uniform, I love the Marine's motto of once a Marine, always a Marine, because truly once a soldier, always a soldier. Command Sergeant Major Ricky H will be around and be a soldier for us in this community for a long time coming. And we appreciate that. Thanks for sticking around. So at that, let's go ahead and get on with the ceremony. Thank you very much. In time and memorial, armies have used a cloth or other symbol to serve as a rallying point under which their soldiers can gather before combat and reorganize during battle. Symbolic of cohesion, Loyalty and esprit de corps, the organization's colors, also remind us of their original purpose in parades and ceremonies such as we are witnessing today. The passing of the colors signify both the symbolic and the official transition and assumption of responsibilities. Historically, the colors and army units are the responsibility of the unit command sergeant major. Today, Command Sergeant Major Ricky Yates will relinquish the U.S. Army Aviation and Missile Command's colors to Command Sergeant Major Todd Glidewell.
first, what I like to do is just thank my family up front, Teresa, uh, Granny, Grandma, my daughters, and my brothers, and my sister-in-laws for being here, and my nieces, Sheila, the other uh, better star major upstairs. Uh, I won't go through all the names because there's too many GOs to uh, announce, but for the PEOs, I would tell you it's been an honor and privilege to serve here as, as the MCOM, but also as, as your Sergeant Majors too, sir. And I've been with General Crosby for the last six years. Uh, Sergeant Major Riley, thanks for being here. I said my goodbyes last night, but the most thing I want to say is really one, is uh, it's been an honor and a privilege to serve this nation for 35 years, six months and one day when I go out. To have my replacement come in here as Todd Glidewell uh, was a privilege and honor for him to get selected, and I really mean that from the bottom of my heart, brother. Todd's been trying to get me to leave here for the last three years. <laughs> <laughs> but also for uh, the South Alabama side, Joe Crestfield, thank you, sir, to go back in history. Uh, just too many people to thank, but thanks to all the non-commissioned officers, all the officers, and all the warrant officers that helped make me who I am today and get me to where I am today. All the delegates, uh, Lisa, thank you all for being here. Both mayors. I don't know which one's the worst, but both of them, you get them together. <laughs> but, gentlemen, I would tell you, thank you for allowing me to be a part of your community and all my four chiefs that I've had. Uh, but again, thanks for the three J's, the Jim, Jim, and Jim, for allowing me to come here and be here uh, as the Upcom Sergeant Major. And I look forward to coming back out here one day working for or with this community. Sir, MCOM 7 signed off for the last time, sir. Good job.